Hey, it's Rob the Fix-It Guy here today. How you guys all doing today? Been a little while since I posted a video, uh, but uh, rather than fixing, we're actually going to be improving uh, my current vehicle. It's a 1986 Buick Regal that I have um, in the garage. You'll get some more videos uh, soon on it. But basically, I bought a 350 Deluxe crate motor from GM for that vehicle, probably about 10, 12 years ago. Um, it operates fine, uh, but what I wanted to improve was drivability, <clears throat> wanted to improve fuel economy, and uh, I think this is the ticket here. So what this is, um, this is the Fitech system. It's got, this is actually brand new um, because they've now created a version that has the force fuel. And what that means is it's basically a pump. Um, so what it does is you leave your traditional um, mechanical fuel pump, which will then go into the force fuel system, um, which then boosts the PSI to about uh, 58, 60 PSI, and then that then feeds the fuel injection system. Um, this is a throttle body fuel injection, not multi-point. If you did multi-point fuel injection, now you've got to replace the intake. It gets a lot more complicated. Um, this is a great way to add fuel injection um, with minimal complexity. So anyway, this video is going to cover the unboxing of this. I just picked this uh, item up. It's, it's February, well, almost February. Tomorrow's going to be February 1st. Um, so let's have a look here. Now, if you're curious about uh, what does this kit include, so this is the new force fuel. You see it right there, force fuel system. Um, so basically what this does, this holds approximately two quarts of fuel, uh, which doesn't sound like an, a, a lot, but it's actually enough to maintain fuel for your vehicle um, because what's gonna be happening is your mechanical fuel pump's gonna be providing about five to six PSI of pressure. Um, it's going to be filling this tank, which will then feed your fuel injection system at about 58 PSI. It also has a return system where the fuel can be returned to this as well. So it's kind of neat. It eliminates uh, running extra fuel lines. It, it eliminates running uh, electrical lines, uh, you know, all the way down the back of your car to the fuel tank and making all those types of modifications. So basically it looks like the package comes in two kits. Uh, or two boxes, I should say. So this is our force fuel. Let's have a look at what's inside here. And inside here we have installations, of course, installation instructions. Um, and then when we open this up, there's our actual tank. You've got some clamps, some plumbing. Um, looks like a socket, I guess, or yeah, possibly it looks like some kind of specialized socket. Um, and then you've got your connections here for your fuel. There is also um, a bunch of attachments here. So it is a complete kit. You're not gonna have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Everything you need to install this should be here, which is one of the reasons I bought this kit. Um, you'll also notice here, there's a, a pressure fuel gauge. So you're gonna know what your PSI is, is on this system by just looking at that gauge. So uh, it looks like they've thought of everything uh, with, with this system. Now the kit I bought is a 400 horsepower kit, meaning you can do up to 400 horsepower. Uh, my motor is about 330 or so, um, so this will do fine. If you have an engine that um, puts out more horsepower, you can actually buy a version of this kit that will have slightly larger um, throttle bodies in it. It will allow uh, for more horsepower. Now, the other thing this kit includes, which is probably in the other box, is an oxygen sensor. So the oxygen sensor gets installed in your exhaust, and that way the system knows whether the vehicle's running rich or lean, and then it can adjust the fuel ratio. And apparently, from what I've read, that takes a couple weeks for the system to fully calibrate, but uh, it will run right out of the box. Um, so again, we have the instruction manual for this. We have, so what you have here, it looks very similar to a carburetor, but it's actually a throttle body unit. And what's neat about the uh, Fitech compared to some other competitors is that the ECU that runs this is actually in the actual throttle body. So basically you don't have a separate box 
uh, let's say mounted on your firewall with a bunch of cables running all over the place, your computer that manages everything is actually built into the throttle body. So for a lot of simplicity. Um, so you don't need as much wiring. So that's our system there. Let's see what else we got over here. So this is your screen. So this is how you actually initially program the system. And you set in your parameters, you know, 350 cubic inch, V8, all that jazz. And the system will have some basic parameters to run your motor so that of course it'll start. And then as the engine runs, it'll receive information from the oxygen sensor, the computer that's inside here. It'll keep tweaking the system and optimizing the, the fuel ratio. All right, let's see what we got here. This might be, I don't know what this is. Let's see what's in here. It might be the oxygen sensor, no. Uh, I believe that's for your, um, uh, your temperature sensor. So in other words, you're gonna have to install this on your intake um, so that the system knows uh, what the temperature of your vehicle is. Why is that important? Well, when your vehicle's cold, um, this system is gonna wanna run a little bit rich until your vehicle heats up. And then when that happens, it'll run a little bit leaner. It's basically like an automatic choke type system. But if the system doesn't know the temperature of your vehicle, obviously it's not gonna know whether to run rich or whether to run normal. Um, let's see, is there something else in here? I'm gonna go with yes, there is. And here we've got some, uh, some cables. We have your oxygen sensor, which I mentioned earlier. So, uh, and, and by the way, this is, they only give you one oxygen sensor. It is not necessary to have an oxygen sensor for each side. Uh, one side is, is fine for the system to tweak itself and adjust. Um, these are actually, this is actually a plate where if you don't want to go to an exhaust shop, you can drill a hole and then attach this to the side of your exhaust with a couple clamps and your oxygen sensor will then mount to this. So it kind of avoids having to go to a shop and have it welded in. I may do the welding option, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I do have a good um, exhaust shop here in my area. I may go that route, but we'll see how it, how it ends up. Uh, we've got lots of wiring here. Uh, these are probably for the control unit. We've got the clamps that I mentioned for the exhaust. Uh, we've got a gasket here for the uh, throttle body. Uh, another cable, looks like a USB type cable, could be for the controller. Now let's see what else we got here. What are the odds of me getting this all back in again? Probably not good. All right. Um, uh, here we have some kind of adjustment uh, in terms of fittings. I'm not sure what that mounts to. We're gonna figure that out. And over here, Ah, I know what this is. This is actually the stand for the control unit. So they give you the option that you can actually mount uh, this. I'll show you what it looks like. You can mount this in your car and then this, uh, I believe this, yeah. So I think the way it goes is you can, you see there's a clamp there. Uh, somehow this is gonna be mounted and then it, uh, it might even go onto here and that bolt your unit. I think that's how it works. Uh, most of the guys I've, I've seen uh, with these units, they tend to say that you don't need the screen all the time. You'll need it mostly for setup, but we'll see how that goes, right? Anyway, so I'm very excited about this. Uh, in the spring, this is kind of my major project on my vehicle that uh, planning to improve drivability and uh, throttle response on the car. Uh, from what I understand, um, it, it will improve, apparently reports I've seen is as much as 50% better fuel economy. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, people said the throttle response was immensely better once they installed this system versus a four barrel car. I'm looking forward to that. Um, although it doesn't add necessarily much horsepower, uh, people said sort of seat of the pants feel. The vehicle feels much faster with this system compared to a carburetor. So those are all sort of the great things I'm looking forward to. All right, so that's it for now. So um, subscribe to my channel, 
uh, if you're interested in uh, getting more updates on this project. And as I say, as soon as spring comes around, uh, this is the next uh, project I have on tap here at uh, Rob the Fix-It Guy. Thank you.